Hi guys, welcome to Richard Kabili YouTube channel and to this video, I will teach you how to set assistive ball into gesture operation mode in your Realme 5 mobile phone. And okay guys, but before we start, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by pressing the subscribe button and the bell to notify you if I have new videos. Okay guys, let's start. So okay guys, you only have to do is go to setting in your Realme 5 mobile phone. And okay guys, here in settings, okay, scroll down and find the convenient tools, okay? Click convenient tools. And okay guys, here in convenient tools, okay, you can see the assistive ball. And okay guys, you all have to do is click assistive ball. And okay guys, here in assistive ball, okay, you can see the assistive ball is on. And okay guys, here in operation mode, okay, you can see the operation mode is set into top menu and okay guys to set the operation mode in assistive ball into gesture operation okay you all have to do is select the gesture operation and click the circle on the right side and okay guys the assistive ball operation mode is set into gesture operations here you can see the tap double tap and touch and hold and okay guys to set the gesture operation okay Okay, in the top, if you tap this, okay, you can set into back. And okay, to change the top operation in your gesture operation mode, okay, you'll have to do is click the top. And okay, guys, here, you can see in the top the option and also you can change the back. And okay, we have here the notification center, lock screen, one hand mode, screenshot, or you can set into none and okay guys okay for example i set into screenshot the top and okay guys after you set the top the screenshot okay so okay for my example so okay i can tap the assistable here so okay for example so okay guys okay we have successfully screenshot the screen and okay guys that's it on the gesture operation tab. And okay guys, we also change the double tap by clicking the double tap. And okay guys, the double tap is set into multitasking. And okay guys, so you can change it by the back or lock screen, notification center, one handed mode or also the none. And okay guys, I set into lock screen. So okay, so I select or I set the double tap into lock screen and okay guys you can also change the touch and hold okay you'll have to do is click this and okay guys the touch and hold is set into home and okay guys so I can change it into one handed mode okay so okay guys so okay guys the gesture operation is set and okay guys, the tap is set into screenshot, the double tap is set into lock screen, and the touch and hold is set into one-handed mode. And okay guys, you can change it anytime. And okay guys, that's it. And okay guys, if you have a question, kindly comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell to notify you if I have new videos. Okay guys, thank you for watching.